Applications for federal student aid had, have opened later than usual. That's because the free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA, has undergone an overhaul to make it simpler. But some students have had trouble logging in when the application first launched around the new year. NBC10 consumer reporter Leslie Gatiss has advice on what to do if you're struggling with this and the upcoming deadlines. For the 2024-25 school year, the FAFSA form is new. It has fewer questions and a new formula to calculate student financial aid. The Education Department says the new FAFSA could take as little as 10 minutes for some, but you have to get in first. The portal opened around the first of the year with what the Education Department calls a soft launch, saying the site would be open for short periods of time and it would use an online waiting room to manage traffic. The soft launch definitely was uh, rockier than we had expected to see in those early days. Jill Dejean with the National Association of Student Financial Aid Administrators says the site is getting more accessible as the days go on. I am encouraged to see that the Department of Ed seems to be having the application open for more hours every day. It seems as though more people can get in there. Getting in and completing the FAFSA is a key step for students to access federal money like grants and work study to pay for school. States and colleges may use your FAFSA eligibility information to award their financial aid, and each state and school has its own deadline. For incoming students, a, you might be applying to many different schools. Um, they may all have their own different dates. Some states have programs that are on a first-come, first-served basis. Some institutions might as well. Contact the financial aid office for each school you're applying to. Ask for its FAFSA deadline and confirm what they mean by deadline. Is that the date the feds process your FAFSA or the date the school receives it? If it's just simply everyone who applies by this deadline qualifies equally or we've got this deadline, but also it's first come first served. So just because you meet the deadline doesn't necessarily mean you get the aid. Just read carefully, be very aware, make a phone call if you have to. Dejan says the answers can help you figure out if you need to keep trying the FAFSA now or if you can hold off a little longer to wait for more bugs to get ironed out. Obviously, don't wait until the final hour. With the new form, you may see a new question you need help with. Another note about the timeline, the Department of Education says it will provide FAFSA information to schools and states starting in late January, which means students would see financial aid offers sometime after that. That really just compresses that time frame, especially for incoming students who want to have a comparison of all their different aid offers together and decide what works best for their family. I know firsthand how frustrating this has been. The Department of Education studentaid.gov website does have information posted to help if you're receiving an error message or having problems completing your form. And if that doesn't help, there are live chat options available as well. Good luck. Leslie Gatiss, NBC10 Boston.